my husband lies to my face and keeps the truth that Ryan has been alive this whole time? You want to duck the truth? Fine, I won't push you. We're not going to talk in circles and go aha and when, when you slip up. But Ryan could be spilling the whole ugly truth to Greenlee as we speak. And you have to wonder if your name will come up. I have to wonder, will you answer me straight out? Did you lie to me or not? I lied. The first straight answer. You admit you lied. You asked and I answered. You lied and didn't care. Who, who gave you the right? I found Ryan at the bottom of a cliff. Seemed surprised to be alive. Didn't know what was going to come next. So what? So he, he decided to play dead? No one gave him that idea? No one who faked his own death how many years before? No, I, it wasn't my idea, but I supported it. Well, what about us? The people who loved him, didn't you think about us or try to stop That's him? That's all I thought about. And what he could do with one punch if I wasn't there to stop him next time. So he, he swore you to secrecy? Was that why you did it? I didn't it? take orders from anybody. Oh, so then it was your own choice. You decided to keep this from us. How could you let he Ryan do this? He raised his hand to Greenlee and raised his hand to you. And out there, in the dark, on the rocks, he made the right choice. And so did I. I helped him stay dead. I heard it in my head over and over after Ryan died. I'd go off a cliff before I let myself hurt Greenlee. And the look in Ryan's eyes when he said it. The, the idea that Greenlee could be in pain all his fault. So we agreed. Ryan had to go. And that feeling so low and so alone i felt that way i felt that way the night i shot ryan i went into the water and i didn't want to come out and that feeling of despair makes you feel like you have no choice he loved her he wanted to save her but you You let me mourn. I had no choice either. Why did you lie? It's what I do, you know that. To me? Why did you lie to me? To save you. This is what our marriage means to you? You can save me from a man that I loved more than I ever even liked you. It's a good thing we never claim to be conventional. You, me, or your ex-lover's baby. This isn't about the baby. This is about you and how you lied to me. You know, you talk about what you saw in Ryan's eyes when, when he said that he would never hurt Greenlee. What about his eyes at the fight club? What about his eyes when he destroyed my suite? Greenlee had a plan. She was going to help him. She was going to show him and remind him who he was well, deep didn't down. didn't work. Because once he was gone, all you could see was the good parts. He was a monster that had to be stopped. And those are his words, not mine. And I was glad he was gone, because I wasn't going to let him hurt you. You watched Greenlee grieve. How did it feel to watch her ache and know that you could take it all away? And replace it with what, exactly? You let her suffer. And she wasn't suffering before? When her husband believed his insane brother instead of his wife. And she wasn't suffering when she thought she could save his soul. She was the only one that could save him. That baby might have saved her. That baby, her. can I ask you something? Do you think knowing my son has made me a better man? Ryan left because he didn't trust himself around Greenlee and her child. And I agree with him. He had no right to be around her, that baby, or you. And now? What about the child that I'm carrying now? In me... Ryan's baby, a tribute to Ryan's life, a way to give Greenlee hope. So you both said. Zach, you had plenty of time to stop me, but you didn't. You let me mourn. You let me ache so much for Greenlee. I'd do anything to make it better, even give her a child. I didn't have to make it better, Zach. You could have done it so easily. Ryan wanted to go. Where was he? What, what were you hiding him 
In the shed? Did you just shove food under the door? It isn't Canada with a sister, Aaron? Of course. That's why you freaked out when Greenlee said she went to see Aaron. You were about to be exposed as a creep yet again. A creep, not a creep. That makes no difference to me. But Ryan back in Greenlee's life, in your life, after what he's done... I'm carrying Ryan's child! What about what you've done to me? I wasn't wrong. Oh my God, the brass on you. Everyone is always wrong but you. I'm pregnant with Ryan's child, Zach. Now what? For Ryan, for Greenlee, for me, for this baby? You're the master of the universe, ruler of all that's in charge. You tell me, what now? I don't know. Say it again. You don't know? I told you not to do it. Well, Ryan's alive, and I'm pregnant. You didn't try hard I enough. I did try. What did you do, Zach? How did you try to stop me? It was too late. So I opted to stand behind you the way you did when Greenlee was pregnant. Yes, because Greenlee's my friend. I love her. You want to pretend that you give a damn about me? There was a way to stop me, Zach. The truth. Or do you lie so much the truth just gets choked in your throat? I promised to protect you. I meant that. So here we are. Another lie and another secret. What if I had told you that Ryan was alive? That he chose life alone instead of life with Greenlee? What then? Maybe you would have believed me? Told Greenlee? And after all the pain and the grief and the misery, she would have tried to find him. Tried to chase him down. When alive or dead, the man she's looking for doesn't exist anymore. So, tell me about your plans for your dear, dear friend. The better life you're talking about, is it? Stuffing hopes and dreams and ideas into a child's head, Ryan's child, or is it trying to find a man who doesn't want to be found? This is how you protect me? How you stand by me? All the grief and the misery and the pain, those were your gifts to me and Greenlee? Grief and misery and pain. That's nothing compared to what comes next. I said it would protect you and stand by you. I meant that. Will you let me? Can I make it up to you? 